The new millennium is just around the corner, and id Software is going through some birthing pains. Every project for the last couple ones we had been considering, well, you know, is it time to, to remake Doom with new technology and all that? At the end of Quake 3, we did have a little bit of an internal spat over where we were going with the next project. Uh, the only kind of foregone conclusion was that it was going to be single-player focused because there was a good contention in the company that wasn't happy with the Quake 3 kind of activity level of gameplay. We wanted to really create this scary, intense, action-packed horror game. And everybody is much more afraid when they're alone. But there was still debate over exactly what we were going to do. And it did come down to a point where, you know, we had a big forced issue about it where I wasn't at all comfortable with the alternate project that was being pushed on there. And it wasn't clear that we could come up with a clear, unified company direction on something brand new. And every project for the last couple ones we had been considering, well, you know, is it time to, to remake Doom with new technology? John, when he was doing research on what the next generation of technology for MID was going to be, came to the conclusion that he was going to be able to realize a sort of vision that he had in his mind's eye when he came up with the original idea for Doom, in that we could use and leverage that technology to really create this intense action horror game and make a really scary version of Doom. Originally, I was uh, I was opposed to the idea. I was I was a bit concerned that uh, the team that we had, which was a bit in transition, uh, wasn't going to be able to really push Doom in a in a direction to sort of live up to the title. So I just kind of made that the stand and said, now's the time we can do some really radically better stuff with new technology now. In hindsight, my opposition was, was absolutely wrong. The decision was great. Bringing back Doom is an exceptional challenge. We've got the Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. If there was a Hall of Fame in computer gaming, I can say with all the humility in the world that there's absolutely a place at the top or certainly near it for, for Doom and Doom 2. And, you know, there's almost a reluctance to go back and mess with the formula, you know, almost like, you know, a Hall of Fame running back coming out of retirement is going to just sort of destroy his legacy. Doing Doom 3 is a very tall order because Doom was such a, such a mega successful game that uh, um, we really had to evaluate what we wanted to do. What do our fans really want us to bring back from the original? And then what can we add to the new Doom 3 to make it, you know, so much better? You have a game that people become so it becomes a part of their life and they spend so many hours playing with it they almost develop some some sense of a relationship with the game itself that they have some ownership of it and so they feel like that they almost have you know some say in in how the game ought to be taken going forward because hey look i played this game for you know a thousand hours of my life people get obsessive with everything that comes out of it people are obsessive about it it's games are great. One of the reasons people respect it is that it never turns its back on quality. Everything that comes out is going to be good. People get so emotionally attached and then they get afraid of, well, if it's not the exact game or if it's, if it's not as good or better, if it's not their interpretation of what the next game ought to be like and they get afraid that we're going to do something different with it. They, you know, they don't want to see the next game come out because they just want to sort of freeze time and have Doom be the way it was when, you know, they had all these great experiences in their life and don't want to have anything to sort of, to sort of spoil that memory. We definitely understand, you know, people's emotional attachment to the, to the properties because we feel it too, uh, and, and at least as strong as they do. On June 1st, 2000, work begins on making Doom 3 a worthy successor to the legendary franchise.